yeah. where we need to be. Oh, so I don't have my coffee yet. Oh, see it. It's coffee. See it. Not Whatever. ready. We're not really We're not ready, ready, yet, ready yet. So, um, so this is just these are the outtakes that you're going to see at some point in life. You know, on the yeah. Uh, my hair does look pretty good. Yeah, your hair, hair does look pretty good. Hi, oh. everybody. Hi. Hi. Good morning. Welcome back. November eighth. Is it the eighth? It's the eighth already. Oh and which episode? Number twenty. <gasps> oh my gosh! Bloody, Bloody Marys next Bloody week. week. Yeah. Oh yeah, we get Bloody Marys next week, don't we? Yeah. I gotta make sure I have Bloody Mary stuff to absolutely make Bloody Marys. We'll be twenty-one. Mine will be virgin. Right. That's the only time you're virgin. Yeah, it's it. And not spicy, because you and don't like spicy. spicy. You're gonna drink tomato juice. Yeah, I'm gonna drink V8. I'll give her a V8. <laughs> Welcome back to Flock Around the Table. Hi, I'm Deb. Sue. Micah. If you're a returner, thanks. If you're new, hit the subscribe button. Yep. And, and join the flock, because that's what we, we love having you in the flock, yeah. and we love your comments. So, oh my gosh, and everything else. <laughs> yes. Plus, um, new flock alert today. Oh yeah, little flock. How fun is it? New flock. What I did. New, new flock, flock alert. New flock alert. We're, we're official. Oh. Yeah, that's silly. You oh my gosh. This. Gotta cut this. Okay. Okay, we have this picture that we put out, which was the picture that's. It's on our Instagram. It's on our yeah, the one that's it's on, on our Instagram. Instagram. So I sent it into this guy, and it was called TB Tunes. He's in um, Laporte, Indiana, and I found him on Etsy. And he made a character caricature of us. And I don't know if you can see it really good, but there we are. <laughs> Isn't that Isn't fantastic? That That's I right. like how thin I am. Me too. Me too. Yeah. Me three. And he gave me blue eyes. And we <laughs> right. didn't. And we didn't even. I all the time we all looked at this. I mean, no. we all kind of checked it out as we were going along, and every yeah. time. It, it didn't show, but on the picture, the final shutdown here was the thing. In the back, and then on the back, we put all our YouTube and Instagram stuff like that. So, isn't that cute? We're official now. Flock around the table has a little cute little thing. Oh, my gosh. Business card. See? Business card. So, when we go to the, to the uh, restaurant, another broken egg. Is that right? Yes. Another broken egg. Deb and I go every Wednesday morning, and the waitresses there, we've talked with them about our, our podcast, and they all go, oh, yeah, I'd really like to watch it. We now have a business card to give them so they can remember what the name of it is. Right. So. It'd be fun. Yeah. We have a couple. There's a couple of them there. The one, Elizabeth, she's the one that usually ends up, poor woman, <laughs> she gets us. And then... Uh, you can always tell when Elizabeth is going to be going home. Like, we get our bill before we even get our food sometimes because <laughs> oh, yeah. Elizabeth oh. is like me at work. If they have an extra body and, and somebody needs to be cut, she's like, oh, well, I'll volunteer. I'll you know what I mean? So, plus on Wednesday, she's off Thursday and Friday. So, she, it starts her weekend out and she gets a couple yeah. hours without the kids and stuff. Right, so right, she's, right. She does that. So, anyway, so we go on Wednesdays to, to another broken egg and... We don't open it, but we usually shut it down. We well, very close, yes. Yes, yeah. they... Actually, we walk in, the waitress comes up and brings us coffee immediately. Yep. And um, we say, we're going to be here a while. And should, they always say, oh, that's fine. Oh, that's fine. Because we've got nothing else to do but wait on you. And then, you know, she leaves and then somebody else gets stuck pouring our pouring coffee. Pouring coffee. We told her just leave just the pot. Just leave the pot. And well, no, they can't. It's against company rules. Oh, yeah. yeah, that's what she says. So, that's unfortunately. Okay. Anyway. All right. But it was fun. It was good. So, now you know that we have officially have cards. So, you know, we'll put them out whenever we go to one of those little shows someday. And you'll be able to meet us and see we'll us. We'll pass them out to random strangers. Yeah. So, you know, you'll be like, I know them. Ah! You know? <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure you're Just all going to Make sure you that. get one to Snoop Dogg. <laughs> Ooh. Trust me, I am going to get our Snoop Dogg. <clears throat> you're gonna, you're gonna mail him one, aren't you? I am. I'm gonna send him. I'm gonna send him one. He's gonna be in a new show um, on TBS. He's a judge on one of these talent things, and it should be pretty crazy. But I'm gonna send it to Snoop, and I'm gonna say, Hey, Snoop, just give us a call on Sunday. We'll FaceTime you on on here. Yeah, you know? we don't know how to do that, but but I'll, we'll figure, figure it out. It out. I'll you figure know? it out. I should give him Sue's number because she could figure it out more than me. You know, but anyway, so you never. I'm know. sure there's a YouTube video on how to do that. There's <laughs> <laughs> a YouTube video on everything. On everything, and there's an app for that too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there's Gotta an, app, an for app for that. You know. So anyway, so what'd you guys do this week? Anything good? Got locked out of my Amazon account. 
Oh. I had to have my husband get me back in. And then I don't know what he did, but I am now officially a member of his family. Oh! <laughs> How nice! Like, he okay. the bill? That was so nice of him. Yeah. I know. I asked Tori. I sent Tori a text and my daughter. I sent my daughter a text. I'm like, would you please send me an Amazon wish list for Christmas? It's just kind of easier. Oh, it is. Yeah. Oh, so, yeah. I think so. It just, you know. And so she did, and um, and she, but she had never done that before, and so she, she texted me, and it, the link for the wish list comes via a text. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then she texts me immediately after that. Okay, I did it, but I'm not sure if I did it right. And I texted her back, and I said, "Got the link. Now I just got to get into my Amazon account because I'm locked out." She laughed. Oh, we bet. She I'll bet she did. Laugh. I, I laughed. I would have laughed, too. Yeah. I well, it was because I got a new phone, yeah. and so I wasn't logged in anymore. Oh. I would have laughed, laughed with sympathy because I have done that before where you, you change something somehow and your password goes away and you have to remember it, and it's like, it was months ago I set that up. Well, <laughs> Colleen and I were talking about this yesterday, and there's a, a military app that you can... that secures all of your passwords right and jamie has it colleen has it i don't have it i don't have it i, I know sure my don't husband have it. doesn't have it my husband keeps it in this silly little book and mine are alphabetized on a word document <laughs> okay of course they are right so and then your word document is, spreadsheet is secured by a password right yes which you of have course. to remember which you have to remember which i have no problem remembering this because it's the same one that has been that way since Moby Dick was a minnow. You got it. Let me yeah. tell you. It, I'm just terrible. And I have a couple that I just use. Like if you're just doing your browsing things and it's more just, and they're not going to get any mm -hmm. financial information, I use mm -hmm. one. And then if then there's a couple of others that I use mm -hmm. if they're getting, you know, if I'm going to purchase from them. But I use, I use PayPal for everything. I do too. Or, some of the places now, in the past, into that I've known, they use that you can purchase it through Amazon. So I don't how that ever works. It looks like an Amazon purchase, but it really. Yeah. But anyway, I don't. Um, I don't give out. To, and then I do have one credit card that we use on the internet, but it's only got like a five hundred dollar balance. So it's not like they yeah. can rip us off for everything. So. Yeah. Well, I have a funny, sort of funny little um, password story. Oh, good. So. A hundred years ago, when debit cards were just starting, mm -hmm. you know, we right. were going from everything was a check or cash to now all of a sudden you have this thing that right. the card, the card, right? And so you had to apply for it, and then when you got the card, you had to go back to the bank, and they had to you had to give them. Uh, a number that they would make your pin right and then yes. they yes. Uh, which is completely different now it's all automated and you know there's no yeah. whatever so back then though you had to go back you had to go into the bank and blah 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 and so our personal banker she was like now you need to make this something random like you don't want it to be your birth date or you know one two three right. blah 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 so she advised us and all that and so what jamie decided to do <clears throat> was Make it the time of the clock at that time. Right then and there, he looked up at the clock and went... 1237. And that's what the pin was. Okay. That's what our pin has been ever since then. Mine was a sign... It has not changed in 150 years since that started. Mine was a really? sign... Yeah. That's they our never pin. made you? No, I've never Well, I mean, I've mine. changed banks, but now... See, then you had you had to tell them and then that was your pin. Right now, you right. now they can assign you a pin, but you can go, go and, in change and change it. it. Right, right. That's so true. we just make all of our pins that that number now. Right. Yeah. It has been that way since then. <laughs> I mean, come on, the time on the clock. How much more random can you get than that? I my I was assigned a pin, and I made it into some. I in my mind made it into something that made sense to mm -hmm. me. Right. And it was the year I got married. And the time I got married. Oh, okay. sure. So if you know the year that I got married and the time of the wedding, you got my PIN number. Right. But if you don't. Yeah. Actually, I use, like, 
I use one. And I would, I would I only have one. Assume that the time on the clock, there's only so many possibilities that that can be. <laughs> but it's a, lot, a of lot, lot of possibilities. There's a lot of possibilities. Yeah. You're probably but close it, to it, well, it's finite because yeah. it's 24 hours, but it's 24. But yeah, it's okay. only 12. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's, it's only, only tw there's only 12 numbers. So you on multiply there. 12 times 60. <laughs> no. Oh no. Except it is 24 because you could. You That's could one make of five o'clock is 19 versus. Oh, you could do military time. You do military time 17 oh, but versus. He, He's not military. Okay. So, so you would, it, you would, if you were a decoder or if you were trying to figure it out, you right. would eliminate that right away because he's not military. Right. Right. <laughs> so. Well, my geek has this whole big thing about how you're supposed to do. They're supposed to be like not just characters, and like they're supposed to be a sentence that makes sense to you because that takes them longer. And I'm like, how can it make, make any difference? They just run through it, and you know, it's it's a math an algorithm that they just run through when they want to figure it out it goes click 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 you know what's that it's a it's a bruce willis movie <laughs> and wait wait i'm telling you about the algorithm about how they figure out passwords that's what you're telling us that's what i'm talking about i'm not oh, sure. squirreling and there's a bruce willis movie where he goes and he picks up this kid and takes him to washington and he did math-based um, cyber work, okay? And he made this code for this guy. And the guy ends up stealing all the money in Social Security and all the accounts and everything because he's mad at the government for not paying attention. Is this a Jack Ryan film? No, no. It's, a, it's, it's not um, a Jack Ryan? No, it's a John. It's not. It's Bruce Willis as John McClane. And so it's a break, or I mean, a, um, Patterson? No, it's, it's John McClane. It's a it's a Die Hard movie. Die Hard movie, but it's not. It's the one where he. It's not the one with his son. It's the one before his son. Go, I, the way they go. Whatever. Okay, anyway. put the answer below. Yep. Let us know. Yeah. Whatever. I whatever. won't look it up. So it, anyway, but it's a pretty good movie. And this guy does math based cyber stuff, and he's he takes this little thing. And he plugs it into the to the machine, and it literally you see it. It goes oh, it click, starts click, 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 yeah. click, 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 and that's how the they basically yeah. go through and figure out how to get your password right. and stuff. Back in the old days, they actually sat down and tried to go through their head. One, 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 two, one, 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 three. That's one, only one, if one, it's one, analytic, one, though. One, 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 five. That's I know. That's how they used to do it. That's yeah. how they do it in Russia. They just sit in their little huts in Russia on the, you know, drinking vodka. Yeah. <laughs> okay. In Siberia. Uh, yeah, in that's Siberia. a little. I'll lay, that's way off the grid. That's, yeah, we got talk way, about way we off did. the grid. We did get off the grid, but I did. I did look up um, one of my trips that I want to do is to take the train across Siberia. Oh, why? Because I think that would be great. Can you imagine? You could go to bed and not miss anything. <laughs> It's all the same, white ice all the way across Siberia. It looks exactly the same. But you'd have to pay a lot of money to go to bed and not miss anything. Well, that's true. Well, that's why we've never done the train across Canada, because I keep telling them, I said, we're going to go to bed at the pretty spot. You know what I mean? Because they, they just, the train just keeps moving. I think all you know Canada what I mean? is pretty pretty. Oh, yeah, the whole Canada is. Yeah. But you can't go to Canada right now. No, I know. They won't, Yeah. And someday well, you can't to go to Siberia either. I'm going to go to Saskatoon, Saskatchewan. Oh, I could probably sneak into <laughs> Siberia from the <laughs> Kamchat Peninsula <laughs> off of Alaska. Off of Alaska. I've been, I've been looking. It's really a cool thing. And oh, they, my they're gosh. Doing it. Yeah, so anyway. And they wouldn't keep me in Russia. She really needs a me. hobby. I do. <laughs> anyway. Okay, I'm done for the moment. For the okay. moment. Okay. Oh, what I did this weekend. Thank you, you for asking. I did. I asked weekend? earlier. How are you no. guys? I did. Well, you yeah, but you don't let us speak. You yeah. ask the question and then rattle. And then you went off on a Jack Ryan movie. <laughs> I did. Or Bruce no, Willis. Bruce Die Hard movie. Die Hard. Okay. All right. Um, the, our yarn shop, our local yarn shop, uh, Village Yarn oh, Company, yeah. had a trunk show uh, yesterday <gasps> with leading men fiber arts. And yeah. they just had a room full of wonderful things to, really? to look at. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It I'm was really great. <laughs> Sorry, Stephen, Andy, but I, well, I knew I would, I knew I'd spend Well, I wanted, I, I don't like the yarn I'm using for Caitlin's poncho. Okay. And she and I talked. Okay. And she wanted red. So I found a, um, it's kind of like a, a black and wet wed. Black and wet. Black and wet. Yeah, wet, wet, wet. Woven together. Hey. 
So it's Rappy. <laughs> Rappy and Ruby Roo. Yeah. <laughs> Shut up. I get no respect. Zeke, now you know how it feels on this side of the table. <laughs> so you got this black and red guy. Anyway, so that's going to be Caitlin's poncho. Unless I start knitting with it and I don't like it either. We'll see. But um, it was, I got the, the it, I needed four skeins. They had four skeins. I bought four skeins. And life is good. Life I is will. good. So I then will. you can start it this week. So maybe you can show everybody next week. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe. Well, it's getting chilly. The kid's going to need a poncho. I mean, come on. She said she needs it. <laughs> she'll get it next year. And she'll that's get it when she gets it. She'll get it when she gets it. She knows her grandmother. She loves me, yes. despite all my myriad of flaws. Maybe because of those myriad of flaws. Uh, oh. I, don't know. I don't know. I think so. That's why my niece said that she's like, sometimes it's a good thing I like you. <laughs> like... <laughs> You know, so anyway, and but. and my grandson Ryan, um, I know that when he's talking to me on the phone, he's rolling his eyes. Yeah. Hi, Ryan. And so, um, so oh, that's I okay. finished. It's okay. Uh, and this week, I finished a good story on Peacock. Oh, departure. Good okay. story. It was with Archie. Punjabi, I think we Punjabi, started it. Yeah. yeah, I don't know if we brought it up last week or not, but I started it last week. Really, really good. Eh, storyline is, it's not as involved, I might just say, like developed as well. You know what I mean? They leave a lot of stuff that you need to surmise. Otherwise, this thing would have been an extra 12 episodes. You know what I mean? So you have to kind of surmise some of these things and go, oh, so that's probably how they got there. But it was really, really good. It's about a plane crash that goes down, and um, they can't find it. And so they have to go get the, and then they find the black box. But they can't yeah. find no wreckage, and this thing's like sitting right on the bottom. And, and how the pilot flew it in to this spot so that it would land on this ledge and not break up. So cool. it was really good. It was really good. So okay, if you get so. Peacock, then watch Departure. I I discovered something this week. What's that? And apparently I'm very late to the show, but there's a podcast, an audio podcast. Oh God, she's going to break up. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, any children watching? I'm not going to get into details. Cover their ears. It's um, <laughs> The name of the podcast is My Father Wrote a Porno. Okay? And it's you can get it on Alexa, but when you get it, she won't say the last word. She will say, "My father wrote a dingling ling ling." -ling. Anyway, this the the gist of the story is that this gentleman in England retired and decided that he would write a pornographic novel. All right, so he's a given porno in words. Yes, mm -hmm. he he has given his first book to his son, and two of his friends and they're reading it line by line and commenting after each sentence oh my gosh and it's it is so funny it's apparently been on for a while and they've got an hbo special and all kinds of stuff really? but it is i was sitting there listening to it laughing with tears running down my face it is really? so, so funny, funny huh? so funny all but right. if you are sensitive right. to pornography <laughs> if you don't want to hear about mm -hmm. Body parts. You may <laughs> want to avoid this one, is but it is it? so funny. Is it YouTube or no, 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 no? no it's it's so, on. So it's probably it's like a, Google Play or something like that. It's but, uh, no, it's on. Well, Amazon will play it. Okay. So and Alexa's Amazon. So um, oh, so more like one of those. If you ask Alexa right. to play stuff, she pulls it from whatever source yeah. you have hooked okay. up to her. Yeah. Okay. She. Um, I ask for podcast. My father wrote porno, and she said, "So who told you about that?" To I was ask watching. For it? Like where? Where, where did, did you pick up? Where on did that? you come up with? I, mean, I was that watching. That would be something we would totally were bring up on a Sunday. Pornos? But no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> I wish. No, I was watching another yarn knitting podcast. Oh, okay. that I I watch from time to time. And I hadn't seen them in a while, so I kind of searched them out. And they were talking about this. Now, when I mentioned oh it to gosh. the leading men, Steve and Andy, they oh, they knew all about it. They'd heard it. 
and they agreed it was funny. So uh, apparently I've been well, living we're under just, a bushel. We're just we late live in to the Indiana, party. We don't know. We're completely late But anyway, to the party. if you get the opportunity and you're not sensitive to um, body parts, body parts um, check it out because yeah. it's funny. So. Maybe I'll have to have Jamie listen to it tonight. <laughs> uh, you and Jamie would be rolling on the floor. We probably would. It, be. it is. We probably because would there's be. the take the the two friends. It's. Um, Could you imagine hearing that driving and, and coming up to a stoplight and having that on in the car next to you? Well, the one day I was talking about, she was walking the. Her son was playing a, a soccer game, and she was walking the track around the soccer field, listening to this on her iPod or whatever device they right. have today. And she kind of looked around like, nobody hears me here because <laughs> it was children around her. Well, okay, so I'm gonna just shoot off on that story a little bit to, okay. to one of my own, which, um, oops, kind of funny. Um, first time I ever flew first class mm -hmm. in an airplane. I was, I was stoked. I was stoked. Well, it could have been like a train or something. Like, yeah, I don't know, whatever. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> I was completely psyched. Like, you know, you can get free champagne and, you know. Um, everything. Everything. And so, you know. And, of course, Jamie's with me, my husband. And he picks up this book and starts reading it. Now, I'm in the window seat. He's right next to me. And, and I'm just like, oh, I want a gin and tonic. You know, I was like really like lame, like, you know, whatever. Yeah. Um, and every once in a while, he's reading this book and like literally every five minutes he chuckles out loud. <laughs> <laughs> he does these sort of, and I'm like, what? He's like, nothing. <laughs> and then he does it again, you know, like less than five minutes later, he out loud chuckles again. <laughs> and I'm like, what the hell? What? And he's like. He's like, it's the book. It's the book. You're going to have to read the book. I'm not, I can't tell you right now because we're sitting, you know, amongst a bunch of other people. Okay. So I proceeded to sit there in silence the first time I'd ever been in first class because my husband read this entire book. <laughs> laughing next laughing to me. Laughing next to me the whole time. And so we got to wherever it was we were going and he went off to golf or something and he left the book behind. And I so I sat out on the balcony. Now it's a pretty short book. So I sat out on the balcony and I'm drinking my coffee and I am dying laughing. Okay. Out loud on the balcony, 10th it's floor of whatever, way. you know. And a couple of guys are um, like college age mm -hmm. gentlemen are on a balcony over yonder and they and they go, what you reading? And I told them and they went, yep, that's why you're laughing. Okay. It's called, I hope they serve beer in hell. Okay. And it's written by Tucker Max. And now I think he's got like, I don't know, three or four books out, but it's all about his antics when he was in college <laughs> and all of his escapades. That's why Jamie sexual was and, and other and sexual and other, um, and he ended up being a. Oh, he, I mean, he was like genius level. Like he got his. He's a lawyer, but right. he ended up being a writer mm -hmm. instead because he wrote fantastically. So yeah, um, if you want to know what guys are like in college, <laughs> we all need those sort of. They thought I was. I hope they serve beer so. in hell. Yeah. I hope they serve beer in hell. Hope they serve beer in hell. Cute. That'd be um, fun. Yeah. Well, and that's and good. definitely you can't describe these things in an airplane in first class out loud. No, not out loud. Not out loud. <laughs> not out loud. No. No. You could pass the book back and forth, but Yeah, but he not... hadn't read it yet, so he wanted right. to get to the next, you know, yeah. thing. Which is the yeah, in which you could and be here, read this, you know, and then you get a snicker. Yeah, out. but you know, yeah. he leads you to the next one so quickly that um you don't want to put the book down. Right. Which you is good. Just don't want to put the we book down. You just want to see what else they get in trouble. What with. other kind of silly nonsense are they gonna get into? That's fun. Oh, well, it's not even just silly nonsense. I mean, he's, yeah. My sister got me hooked on once yeah. on the stories like it. They were called the Darwin Awards. Oh, oh so bad. yeah. Mm. Hysterical with these guys that do these silly, stupid things through, through, 
stuff. And one of these guys ended up in a book and we were in Chicago when um, 4th of July fireworks, um, the food festival goes on mm -hmm. in case of Chicago, everything. These guys were in the hallway in one of the high rises. All right. Playing bowling with their ball, with their bodies. Okay. They were sure. running down and sliding yep. on the floor with their socks and they yep. were, they were knocking things over, right? Mm, sure. And somehow they started here, and every time they set it up, it got closer and closer to the window. Of okay. course. So they had to stop before they, they get hit the, to the window. window right? Of course. Right. What well, floor one on? did not stop that went to the window, and he went through the window. Of course, he did. And how, allegedly, how far up was he? Like thirty stories. Oh Jesus! Ooh. And they said, and well, the story goes afterwards is that. He was, he was like something about, you set me up, you son of a bitch. <laughs> or something he's, like that. he's screaming this as he's falling, not screaming, dying. And he's like, you set me up, you son of a bitch. <laughs> you know, and splat. And splat. And oh. so it was like the guys were all like, oh, and, and, you know, and, and, and when the cops came, people were saying that. It went, because they heard him screaming this, they everybody heard the crash, and I guess you know the taste of Chicago is like right there, and and the whole city, the way the story tells us, like the whole area just went quiet, you know, like all of a sudden it's like, well, yeah, and he, they everybody heard him say, "You set me up, you set," <laughs> and so of course they were questioning them as if it was people were saying murder. that was deliberate and it's murder. Yeah. So anyway, but these guys got a Darwin Award. Because they they intentionally what got closer to the window, you right, know, instead yeah. of getting That's closer just... to the wall at the other they end, go in the other way, yeah, so that you could just run under the wall and break your nose, not get your life, uh, you know. And it was so, yeah. And that's what I don't yeah. understand some of the stuff they do nowadays. You know, like the GoPros on the top of buildings. Oh yeah. You know, like yeah. these oh, yeah. these hardcore guys oh, that jump. jump and I don't, stuff. I don't get it. I cringe every time I see one of those come across my like TikTok page or I'm like, oh my gosh, like uh, Yeah, unbelievable. Oh uh, so oh, yeah. I need yeah. to talk about the scarf so we'll I'm go. wearing. Yeah, because yeah. you so need we're to gonna take move it off. Because I need to take it off. Because she's gotta take it off. Oh. I'm doing the same thing. Well, I can take mine off because we've showed mine, but go ahead. Yes, please. You finished I it? Have been, I have been working on this for I don't know how long, but it is finished. If you will recall, it is Plank and Stella is the solid color, and the stripe is, what are, I know there's there's a few strings down there. One, two, three, Yeah, there's a few. It's okay. Three, but it's still four, pretty. Four, five, six. No. No, they're all just The rest of them are all. Five, look one, at how pretty this is, look guys. Look how it turned out. You it's really nice. It and is I, pretty. And I spilled breakfast on it already. So, anyway. We have uh, shashuka for breakfast. This is Plank and Stella and Bridiculous. Bridiculous. The, this dark stripe is Bridiculous. So, really um, nicely done. I like this. Yeah. yeah we'll have It'll to. It'll picture really very nice. And we'll take a photo of it and, and, and post yeah. it on, and she, on Instagram. And she's mentioned the pattern before. Um, it's something good. Yeah. And I think it's. Marie Green. Yeah. Although it's been it's been in the show notes before. Yeah, it's been in before. So you can. And I'm wearing the pito because it's the only thing I had red, white, and blue, and I could wear my cuff with it that Marcia gave us last week. But this one is kind of long enough that I can just wrap it around my head. But I'm so glad we can take it off. And this is with bamboo pop sock. So anyway, and we yep. showed that. That one is pretty. I, I like that pattern a lot. I think I was I'm talking to a friend of ours. Um, this week about maybe us doing a knit along and suggested that that would be a pattern we might want to recommend. Yeah. I was thinking that maybe what we should do is we could do a knit along sort of and say this is what you should knit if you're not pressed for time on something else but make a project for when they watch us at least an hour a week you put an hour a week on this project. Oh. You know what I mean? Oh, so that least, would be fun. You know yeah. just an hour a week we all work on the same fun little project. That means that I would have to knit while I talk. I'm not sure I can do that. No, I know, because you can't talk and chew gum. So no I, no, I can't talk and chew gum, but I can walk and chew gum. Mm, 
Sometimes it's difficult for you. I don't chew gum, so I don't I'm either. all right. I can talk and knit. Okay. <laughs> and speaking of And yarn, I think I'm the only one that ever has sat here and you knit. You usually, you're the only one, but I am knitting a, um, um, I knit she is. a little bit today. She gets prize. Okay, she I went. Um, yeah. I think I get the prize for shakshuka this morning. You she get does. the prize for and, shakshuka. And freshly made bread. Yes. yes. It was very good. Uh, check out know. your the Instagram. She's got a photo of it. Yeah. yeah. I did a little hunting for a new yarn dyer. Now, when I say a new yarn dyer, I mean someone new to me. <laughs> that, it's like the podcast. Others have found it before. Mm -hmm. But this one's called Hot Knit Yarn. H-A-U-T. Hot. hot Knit Yarn. Like Hot Couture. Or like Tara. Hot. 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 Yes. H a u t e knit yarn dot co dot com. Yeah, you're you're I'm on good it at this. today. This this is so pretty and it doesn't show up well. I mean, you can see the colors, but it's got little mm -hmm. sparkly things it's all the way through it. Yeah, it's, it's got a, sparkle. a, it's got a real nice sparkle, sparkle to it. In it. It Ooh. isn't that pretty. Yeah, and the color is called hot 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 hot, hot <laughs> shot oak. Hot shot oak. That's what it says. That is what it says. So we will we will note it's that below. It's squishy, guys. It is really nice. It's squishy. Okay. I love the end of the other. And thing. she has you some really different, um, really different dye lots that I I had a hard time deciding <laughs> which one like I was going to buy. Yeah. Yeah. When I kind of go, oh, 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 I can't buy more than Look one color. How fun is this? Yeah, I was oak really shot. pleased when that came. Oh, oh, oh oak. Oh, oak. oh, that's two O's and oak. Two oak, yeah, and it's four hundred and thirty-eight yards. Uh huh. Nice. Seventy-five merino wool, merino superwash, twenty percent nylon, and five percent sparkle Stellina. Yeah. Cool. Mm hmm. I think I'm going to do. That's why I want the mopito because I think I'm going to do that in the mopito. Oh, the mopito this would be good in, in the mopito. Wouldn't yeah. it? Yeah. Yeah. Really yeah. good. Yeah, yeah. That'd be nice. I was... then, and then needle size is one to three. So they'd be yeah. great. Yeah. Yeah, because that's what I think I use. And she's that. out of Brunswick, Maine. Maine. Which um, I Maine. spent my formative years spending a good chunk of summer in Maine with my husband, whose family was from Maine. So um, I'm familiar enough. I, I know where Brunswick is. So to, um, to this yarn dyer in Maine, whose name I've forgotten, I'm sorry. Um, hello, and uh, you have lovely yarn. Yes, they do. Look at this. Well, you could go anywhere with this. This would be yeah. fun. Yeah. This would be nice. This would go good, like in my, for the painted bricks. This would be. Fun. Oh yeah, it would. This would be a fun thing to do in painted brick. But you can't have it. Okay, fine. I'll give it back. <laughs> See how mean she can be in me, just because I sit over here by myself. You know, I'll tell you. Shut people. up. Anyway. <laughs> sit by yourself. So um and see okay now. Finished your scarf this week. Mm -hmm. Gonna redo nice. your um, da granddaughter's poncho. Mm -hmm. um, let's see. I finished my mittens, and I'm going to show you just because I finished them. Because so you finished, you want. I put the poncho. Well, you know on. what? We need to get our bell up here, guys. Here's the thing. Yeah, at our at our, our local yarn shop, we have a thing where when you finish a project, you get to ring the bell. So right. we need to oh, get that's a true. I we need to get a bell here, so we can so ring we the can bell. ring our so bell we when we have a finished. Project. We could probably steal the bell from the yarn shop mm -hmm. because see nobody rings it there. See there, yeah, nobody knows. Yeah, and the little kids would. would there was a kids class when we knitted on. Yeah, oh, yeah. Whenever it. the kids would so finish funny. something, and we they would were, ring the bell. They would come they, out and ring the bell too. It was and they great. were they were amazing because they ring the bell more than we guys did. Yeah. Oh yeah, for sure they did. And they wanted to tell the teacher. They wanted to know when could they sit in the front in the big chairs. And it would be like, hey, when your hair turns gray, you get to come out here and sit in the in big chairs. So it was yeah. so funny. We were going to do that once, and then COVID, they you know, would like, just they would just dye their hair gray then to come out in it with us. Well, they always thought yeah. it was great then because they just thought something magical was going on in yeah. the chairs. Well, we, 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 we are magical. Laugh. We are magical, yeah. but we would laugh so much <laughs> yeah. that I think they thought we were having too good a time. More well, fun than them. Yeah, more, yeah, fun, more than fun than them. them. Right, which is true. So anyway, they were in class and they were learning, so they're And we were they, just and running them up. those kids, boy, could they knit. Oh my I'm gosh. They're yeah. prodigies. So, Some of them are little prodigies and just so fantastic. So I started my hat and one of the reasons... What, are you, what did you start? Which um, pattern? 
I, I, I'm, I'm, it's called Lacy Lattice Hat. Oh, okay. And put, so you can put that in the notes, and I can show you. I think I mentioned it, but it's got a little bit of a pattern, a lacy pattern into it. I don't know if you can kind of see there or not. It's not a good picture. But um, it's really a simple hat pattern. One of the reasons I didn't go yesterday to see the leading men is because I was, I cleaned up downstairs. My husband teases me, I've got a little nest. He calls <laughs> it my nest. Downstairs with all my little, my iPad and all my stuff, my computer is all around me, you know, and all my yarn and everything is right by my spot, right? Well, so he thinks that's so funny. And so I moved my yarn, all the stuff that had been, I'd been winding, and I thought, I have six skeins of yarn probably more that have been wound, but I haven't done anything with. I can't go and get anything else. I can't go to the yarn shop and get anything else because I just couldn't. So I sat down and I started the hat instead. This is our, where I'm at. Okay. All okay. right. And this is Milliville, Millville, DK. Yep. It makes this little lattice pattern here, and, and you put two knit rows in between. Can't really tell. See? A little bit. Anyway. <laughs> When it's done, you'll be able to see it and everything. So, and I had to make a spreadsheet last night so I could keep track. Of course, she, of course, she yeah. made a spreadsheet for it. She makes a spreadsheet for every pattern. Yeah, so it's awesome. Yeah, so I did that last night, and and so I thought, well, okay, I got to get started on this, and I got to start the thick mittens that yeah from the hat. I have oh I have enough left over to do mittens. From the hat. Mm -hmm. Regular old mittens? Yeah, or they're just, like, just No, no, regular mittens. Regular mittens. Because I figure in regular January, mittens. regular mittens. Because um, I figure <laughs> January, it's going to be a little chilly. And the main reason I made the finger. Depends on where you are. If the it's finger be chilly. Is she. Um, it's for Madison, so she'll be in Cincinnati. Yeah, and she also, what she said, it gets Damn cold it. in the library. She, there's a there's this one spot she likes to go sit in the library and it gets chilly and her hands get cold and she can't write. And so I said, well, I'll make you some fingerless mitts. She goes, oh, yeah, I have a pair of those. And I said, do you know where they are? And she goes, no. No, I said, I bet they're with my shoes. And she goes, don't start that again. Oh. Uh, she has probably my light-up my... shoes. Your yeah, light-up yeah, shoes? Her, her Disney light-up shoes. My Disney light-up shoes. I have these really cool shoes that we bought no, you don't. in Nashville. I used to have. And they weren't just, they lit, I mean, they, they went... I could make them all green, all purple, all red. They sparkled. They, I mean, they flashed. They followed each other around. It was great. It was, they were the best. It was entertaining. Ever. It was. It was entertaining. It was so anyway, so that's what I'm doing this week. And well, what are you doing this week? Well, this is yarn that, right? This this yarn, right here. Is it fun? Um, I'm fascinated with fuzzy halo stuff, and I can't use mohair because it. So well, I can it. use it on my, I can work with it, um, but I can't wear it. Right. Uh, it just, it's just too much. So I'm experimenting with different types of very halo-y type. Mm -hmm. um, and this is Roma Alpaca Lin. And it is 48% baby alpaca and the rest I will read off. So I started doing a... Um, some, I, I started one thing. I didn't like the fabric it made, so I tore that out. I started another thing, didn't like the fabric that was making, tore that out. Then dug through my patterns to come up with another thing. Um, and this one I'm liking. So, Where this is, the way they're from? this is called, this pattern is called Hocus Focus. Hocus Focus? No, not Hocus. Oh. Hocus Focus. Focus. Oh. Okay. So. It's written to be with mohair, and this is a little bit bigger than mohair, so, um, but it, I'm using mohair, well, no, I'm using this, and a stash dough for, I think this is silk. I'm pretty, she's pretty certain it's silk. It's pretty nice. Yeah, it is. I, I don't know what it is. There's no tag. Um, yeah. So, the pattern goes where you, you hold mohair, um, single, and mm -hmm. then... Single or whatever. And then you, there's these random stripes where you pull in a fingering. Okay. And and put these random stripes in there. So um, we'll see. We'll see where we get to. 
Oh, that's pretty cool. It's just cool. a scarf. Um, so it starts out with just the mohair kind of on the mm -hmm. bottom. I see the stripe. And then you bring in, yeah. The stripe. Cool. So. Fun. We'll yeah. see. Focus, focus. I know I got a hole in there. Yeah. But it's because I have a twisted stitch. So mm -hmm. That's I'll I mean. try and back it out and or drop it down and, and fix it. You I can noticed do that. it. Yeah. You yeah? have? So that's what I've been doing this week. And the other thing, I need help from you guys out there. Out there. Out there. Not no. us. Not us. No, because. We'll just sit here and look pretty. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so these slippers, I can't find a pattern for them. Now, I'm sure I could dissect this and just come up with a pattern, but I would really like to have a written pattern somewhere. Um, these are slippers that my grandma made for us. Everybody in our family got one of these sets of slippers for their birthday and for Christmas. And I want to continue my grandma's tradition. tradition. So if any of you guys know what pattern this is. Or have. Let me know. Put in the comments. Yeah. Yeah. Because we like comments. Yeah. Um, yeah. That's. That's, I, I haven't had, did, I did a lot of cooking this week. You did. Oh, seems she like, did. Seems like I've done a lot of cooking yesterday yeah. and today. Um, got a notice yesterday <laughs> from Sue with a picture of chicken soup. Yeah. And she said. Well, I called it chicken stoop. <laughs> yeah, you did. I did, it... I did that on purpose. It wasn't a spelling accident. Oh. Oh. It was on purpose because it was. Yeah. And anyway, here I thought, great, this is the one time she wanted <laughs> autocorrect to fix it. It didn't. So no, I had to fix rock. the autocorrect to, to spell it as stoop because it was thicker than soup and yeah, it was than stoop. And yeah. then she said, I, I, I've made this. Um, who wants to come out for lunch? Yeah. Anybody well, who doesn't have anything going on can come for lunch. And so I did because my life is pretty simple. <laughs> it revolves around Sue's cooking. It yeah. does. To a great degree. Yeah, pretty much. So, uh, so I was here yesterday eating stoop. Stoop. It was quite good. It was stoop. quite good. Well, the reason why I made it yesterday was because my husband went into the fridge on Friday night. And he goes, when are you going to do something with this water stuff in here? <laughs> Which was chicken stock. Oh, okay. Oh, so you're like, all right, I'll do it tomorrow. Okay, you're having an issue with my... With my water in the fridge. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, the other, while we're talking about nothing related to yarn, <laughs> I got another surprise in the mail this week. I love squishy mail. Um, I belong to um, the Stranger Things Club, Mystery Club, with Savvy Skeins. And I got, this was my latest... Um, treasure that just came. The color is called Eleven. Those of you who watch Stranger Things know exactly who that is. And it's a real nice peachy color with dark rust speckles. Let's see if I can... I don't know if you can see the speckles. But I'm pretty pleased with that. And got, is that a once a month thing? It's a once a month thing and I think it's for six months. Or so. Yeah, it's 120 yards, 80... Uh, merino 20 nylon so um, nice feeling of course I like savvy skeins anyway so I was real happy to get that you know monthly clubs are great I really like them I got one this week but I I didn't bring it because it would just be another wound skein of yarn that I would forget what I was supposed to do um, from India Untangled it's the uh, parks and it comes oh, like every three months. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's oh, fun. Oh, yeah, oh. that's a quarterly thing. Yeah, it's a quarterly thing. So nice. that was fun. Um, and 20, everybody's starting to talk. Some of the places that we go to, they're starting to talk about their 20, their 21, so that you start at the beginning. Oh, you know, right, I always right, think right. that I'm missing. Because oh. when I started, the last, I'm doing one now through Lola Did It, and it's Downton Abbey. Okay, mm -hmm. and I started that one from the beginning, so I feel like I'm going to get all her colors, and it's a sock, and the and the little skein, so it would be, yeah. a, you know, and uh, I did her impressionist one before, which mm. was great. She sent you this really pretty card and everything, 
but I didn't I started it in the middle and I liked it so much I'm like damn I wish I could get you know yeah, yeah. get the others so I've been looking at some of them to see what would be what for 21 to see what would be a good one right. I, I stopped two of them this year well, this is the only one I've ever done Oh, they're, I love them because they're just, they don't tell you anything until, just usually so, you get it and then they post it on their, on the internet, on the, on the thing. Like it'll come in October and I mean like you'll get it in November and then you'll have it like a day before everybody else and then they put it on their website and you're like, ha ha, I had it yesterday. You know, so it's really kind of fun. I do that and the dog is really impressed. Yeah. He, he dances around me. We were supposed to have a dog here today. <gasps> we were? Yeah. Ellie, Ellie? Was, Ellie was supposed to be with us today. Oh. Um, I love my neighbors. They, She texted me early this week and she goes, can Ellie come and play with you this weekend? And I said, well, of course you can. And then she proceeded to tell me that they were going to visit some friends and uh -huh. blah, 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 blah. Um, and I'm like, cool. And then she texted me on, I think, Thursday and she said, we can't go. Something happened. And they couldn't go. And I said, well, it's going to be nice out, so I'm still going to see Ellie. <laughs> I'm still Send Ellie over Ellie. anyway. I'm still going to see Ellie. Send it's Ellie over nice to out. play. There you go. Uh, since I couldn't show you before, this is going to be a scarf. So this, there is, you go. this is as wide as it is. So it's a diagonal kind of scarf. Oh, neat. Scarfy kind of thing. Mm -hmm. oh. I had two needles in it, so it was like bunched up before. But yeah. Oh, yeah. So you had yeah. to lay it down. Yeah. That you is know. going to be pretty. It'll be. This is a it lot smaller really... than actually what the pattern calls to go to 70 stitches. Oh, okay. And I stopped it at like 40 because I wanted it to be scarf size instead of. The big shawl size. Big shawl yeah. size. Mm -hmm. yeah. Which yeah. works. So. Plus, I only have one skein of this, so I thought. Mm -mm. Yeah. Yeah, it better not go mm -hmm. too far. We have to go so. back to Wisconsin. No. No, Minnesota. Minnesota. <laughs> Minnesota. Minnesota. Oh, darn. I'd have to Don't go back and see my daughter. That yeah. would be awful. We are going to go back and see your daughter. Probably February. We'll have to get you up there. Oh, February in Minnesota? Oh, what no, planet no. do you live on? Are you sure you Why have. Not? But they know how to plow roads. Come on. It's just, you know. But it'll be cold. I And I. Okay, Don't always well, take a coat. But you will in February. I probably will in February. You know, right? I mean, come I'll on. probably remember it in February. Oh, and because of the trip to Minnesota, she brought her weighted blanket. And her daughter ordered a weighted blanket. So I got a weighted blanket. Did you get one? Yeah, and I put it on the bed. Um, Not good to have. With if, other blankets. No. That was my first mistake. Yeah, the first not, night not I did that. With other blankets. Not good with other blankets. Mm -hmm. If you have a fan blowing over it, it's um, mine must be a little more, I don't know, something. But you can feel the air moving through it. So I put another, like a fleece blanket, just a real lightweight one to kind of do that. That's not too bad. Um, you feel, <laughs> uh, what's the description? I mean, weighted down, yes, okay? And I have a foam mattress, which creates a bit of a thing anyway. You get a nice little divot. So you got a little divot, and then this thing's pushing you into that, you know? Can you get out of bed? Um, It's it's difficult. I threw the covers off, and I hit Abner in the head. <laughs> <laughs> Abner's the I, dog. I went like this, and I went, because I thought, I'm not, I must have pulled everything towards me during oh the night, gosh. and... And to get to the edge, so on this side of the bed, I could get my foot out or something. And then, so I kept doing this, like, because I bought the queen size, and I should have just bought the twin. Um, and I hit him in the head, and he was like, no. And I'm like, I'm oh. sorry, you know. Um, and they're not good to have if you're having um, digestive issues and yeah, rumbling to through out. to get, yeah, out, from to get out from underneath. And go. Um, so mm. that's not a wise thing to have. Otherwise, it wasn't too bad. Um, they're warm. Try a nap on the couch with it. Try yeah. a nap on the couch with it. Yeah, that's it, it like better. yeah yeah. Well, I it's, told it's, I told Mike we may return this one and get the small we'll one. Just get the twin because I think the twin is all I really need because it's too much to, you know, it's across the well, whole if, queen size bed. And okay, he, does, he doesn't need he doesn't he doesn't need. well he doesn't sleep in the same bed anyway. The oh. dog sleeps with me. Oh okay. And I thought this way it. 
the other one is like 48 by 60 or something like that. So it's just long enough for me because yeah. I'm 60 inches. And the, That's and only I got if you're the, covering your head. I don't cover my head. So it would be ample. So it should be okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> But you know, you lose these, stuff. These conversations are just you know, hysterical. When you lay down, okay, you lay it on the bed and you lay oh. it flat and you get it up to the top of the bed and then you get in bed because they, you've, your body has changed the, you know, it's wrapping around you. So it really isn't 60 inches. You need 63 inches so that you can pull it up because it's got to go up and over all of this. So it's. <laughs> Another solution is just slide down. I thought about that. Well, I sleep at the top of my pillows. The pillows can move. No, no, because I sleep at the top. And so I have to stay close to the top of the bed so that the... Because your pillows have to no, stay no, at the, the top bottom, of your bed? The bottom pillow scrunches into the hole between the mattress and the headboard so that it's it keeps that pillow secure oh and right there. Our, uh, um, get another oh. pillow. God. Oh my God! I have to have just. How does Mikey off. handle you? He sleeps in the other room. <laughs> and now we know why. The oh. dog stays for a little while, but and I don't. But I don't move as much. <laughs> I, I don't move as much because he didn't. He stayed with. You don't move as much with the weighted blanket. With the weighted blanket, well, you right. can't. Yeah, no, you can't. No, no. I found it quite. Well, you can, but delightful. you would build up your muscles. Well, maybe see, you're working out at night. It's program. an exercise regimen. <laughs> Moving around with your weighted blanket. Well, you're waking, and, 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 well, you do notice it. I mean, it. I have to admit, because I sleep on my side and I have my leg hooked, and my knee felt like I couldn't move it. You know what I mean? Because of the way the blankets. I must say, had it scrunched up. If you keep it really flat, it would work. More really than you great. wanted to know about a weighted blanket. Weighted blanket. Holy bucket. It was good, and it, they're comfortable, and I, I think it's a. Cool idea. The only thing is, is you have to dry clean them, too. Well, don't spit on it. Put, a, a, put a duvet on, on it. Yeah. And then you you can wash and dry the duvet. Yeah, that's true. Okay, but I have oh to decide gosh. what size we need. Anyway. Oh, my gosh. But we need you and Abner? Yeah. Yeah. Abner. Yeah. Abner, Abner likes his... Well, see, and that's the other reason why I sleep at the top of the bed. Because he likes to sleep here. My door's over there, and my head's up here. And so he thinks he has to sleep in between me and the door. So he takes the bottom of the bed. So I have to sleep up at the top because the boy gets three quarters of the bed and I have one spot, you know, because he's the dog. I would turn the bed. Oh, there you go. No, I mean, so I'd have to clean up that shelf over there and I don't want to get, even get into that. Yeah. And this bed's really heavy. It's got drawers underneath and Mikey would have to move it. And I need Mikey to help me change the sheets as it is because it's so heavy, you know, oh, and I can't see. The, I don't know why just, they pick on me. If I ever lose Mikey, then I'm going to get a twin size bed and I'm just going to sleep in the twin size bed and the dog can just sleep on the floor. That's what I'm going to do. There you go. But, and, okay. and it Watch out, me, Mikey. And it took us to get the queen size bed. We slept in a twin. We slept in a double until 2013. Okay, 2013, the two of us, and we're not tiny in a double bed. No. Um, because, no. yeah, we did. No. We did. And we. the only reason we did it is because we got a big, my German Shepherd was 90 pounds and she slept in the bed with me. So he went and got the queen bed. <laughs> oh, I have <laughs> the to, dog. I have to tell you that I've talked a bit about my son Grant and his wife Sue. They have a dog who is. Oh, yeah, your grandchild. Yeah. Grand dog. Ruthie, who is part lab, so she's a she's a big size, she's a big girl. Um, they got a new mattress, and they started off with a queen size mattress. But since Ruthie sleeps between them, uh, with they had her, to go to a king. <laughs> yes, they had to go to a king because Ruthie sleeps with her back to one of them and her feet to the other, uh -huh. and pushes Kicks one out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. so they had out. to get a king size bed for the dog, mm -hmm. which. It's That's how come I got the queen size bed. It was for the dog. I wanted a 40 inch fence and a black fence for years. 2005, we broke the fence. I mean, seriously, I wanted, if we get a dog, the shepherd, I got a big fence for the dog. Not me. It makes, it makes Harley look good. He's yeah. just a little guy. I got a 
king size bed because I have a king size husband. You do. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> she does. She does. He's 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 tall, but he's such a sweetheart. I told I, him. I told him the last time because we we've recently bought two new king size beds. Um, Her guest room has a king size bed. It does, but it is, has yeah. for a reason. So, I slept in it. So. The story behind that was when we moved here, we got rid of our sleep member because we had had it for like 20 years. Um, and when we got here, we got like one of the Tempur-Pedic foam memory things. Um, mm -hmm. And they're, you know, like the cost of an arm. Right. Um, and so that's what we had. And we we got a, a regular inner spring mattress, t twin size, or not twin, queen size for our guest bedroom and a couple of years go into this and I, I I keep telling him I can't I can't do this mattress I can't do it like it hurts my back like I would wake up in the morning and my back would just hurt I'm like and so finally I think he he understood me because he goes all right let's go get another sleep number because then you can put it on whatever number you want Mm -hmm. And I said, "What about this one?" And he goes, "We'll put it in. We'll put it in the in the in the spare bedroom." And uh, and I go, "What about that one that's in there?" He's like, "We'll find somebody to buy it." So it's just tell your friends, whatever. So yeah, we went and we got a sleep number, and so now I sleep on cloud twenty five, which is like a feather <laughs> like i'm in this like depression yeah yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know what number i would use i've i've molded. but and i told him i said since we're spending all this money on a bed you might as well get yourself a california king because mm -hmm. it gives you an yeah, extra you four, an extra four inches yeah yeah i think four mm -hmm. or six inches i'm not sure gives you a little more length mm -hmm. than a regular king and he was like nope i'm fine <laughs> he literally has one inch Head to foot. Well, extra. But most people don't s sleep straight out. He does. Except for Jamie. He does. And yeah. he sleeps with his feet up like this. <laughs> and it's so hysterical because, okay, well, so I'm, I'm serious. So, the, oh, the poor sheets at the end of the bed, you know, um, yeah. Right here. And now he's like, now he's like, his feet are finally doing this. And in his older age, they're finally like, when he lays flat, his feet go to the side. And he goes, I don't understand this. Why are they doing this? <laughs> <laughs> like, most people do kind of do that. Like, one way or the other. Yeah. Like, mm -hmm. you're being weird. Stop being, being so weird. weird. He's you're being unique. Polish. I don't know. Polish. He's being Polish. There Poor you guy. go. All right. I, I can pick on him being Polish because he picks on himself being Polish. And he and he is yeah, Polish, he so it's okay. Polish mm -hmm. was big when we were kids. So anyway. Um, okay, that's I all I got. That's so, all I got. That's all I got. Okay. So this is November 8th. We'll see you next week. Bring your cocktails. Yeah, we'll have cocktails we'll next have week. cocktails for next week. Or mock we'll cocktails. Or whatever. Mock, whatever. Um, and think about the, the knit-along sort of thing. I mean, it might be kind of fun. Just it's something to think about. Either I mean, or we could certainly do, after the first of the year. We don't yeah, want to get. We don't want to do anything before. No, that. no, no, not no. before Christmas. But just something that it. you could do something that's just for you, you know, and you could do at least it. I mean, at least an hour a week. You would be working. Yeah, while you're, and it could while be you're listening to us banter. You know, yeah, it could be your flock around. Well, we, with your fat. Your, your fat project. Your fat project. You know, and then yeah, stop with the weird antics of I saying know, fat. Just say, just say fat. It's fat. It's fat. Fat. The fat project podcast you know when i had yep. when i had when i had our cards and stuff when i was working with that someone actually gave it that same that yeah, capital F, capital a little t big t, t yeah um thing and i thought that was pretty cool so that was pretty neat so anyway yeah stay safe we'll start hashtagging fat things yeah there I think you go be great i don't know what that means obviously Sue's, uh, you, deb's done you guys have a great <laughs> we week thought we were done well, have, a, have a great week. No. No. You guys have a good week. Stay happy. Stay, stay healthy. healthy. Stay Wear nitty. your mask. Talk to you later. Bye, guys.